Hey guys, welcome back. This is Naresh. So in this video, we will learn something interesting. If you see uh, in my application, so I have already opened Visor. Okay, so I'm clicking on app and I am going to this application, Cell Android. So if you see in this application, uh, there are many buttons, forms and everything is given here. And if I click on this one, okay. So if you see here, I can type something into here. Maybe, you know, I can type some name here. All right. And if, you know, when you see, when you're typing here, you will see a keyboard here, which is coming up, right? So if I need to work on the elements, which is, you know, uh, like hidden uh, beside the keyboard, I'm not able to do that. Because if I do something here, if I type, it will type on the keyboard, but not on that element, okay? So there are two options here. The first option is I can hide the keyboard. Yes. So I can hide the keyboard through one of the APM command, which I have, uh, you know, uh, told you earlier. Maybe you can see my first and second video. I have already told you how to hide the keyboard. The other option is I can go ahead and I can scroll my screen like this. Okay. So I can scroll and if I need to click on this, then I can click on this. So in this video, we will learn how to scroll the screen from your code. It's very helpful. So right now we are scrolling, you know, like from, uh, you know, we are scrolling vertical. But it might possible when you are working on your in your company, there are many websites you have to scroll right to left also, which is very common in Android. Okay, like in WhatsApp also, you can see there are certain tabs given and you can just scroll right and left also. So for both for vertical swap and horizontal swap, logic remains the same. So let me tell you how we can do that through the code. Okay. And uh, before we do that, let me show you one more thing. So if you go settings, okay, see what you will see. Can you see the coordinates on my screen uh, on this visor? Okay, let me show you. See, these are the coordinates, right? 1.306 Y, these are the coordinates. And if you see here, if I go to cell Android and here, if I touch anywhere on the screen, example, I'm touching on the password. Okay. Can you see, can you see the lines which are coming up as a plus symbol? Okay. See, can you see these lines, how these has come up? Because I have turned on these lines from my settings. And if you see here, my coordinates are also moving at the top. Can you see these? These are the coordinates. If I am moving towards the right, right you will notice that my x you know is getting either increase or decrease but my y is almost constant okay if i move my you know like if i move up like here then what will happen my y is you know getting increase and decrease but my x is almost constant so that's mean here when we say the width this is the x and the height it is a y so these are the y coordinates these are the x coordinate so we have to make sure and from the settings if we see that the x and y coordinates so you can just go to settings and here developer option under the developer option uh, wait so let me just yeah so in the input can you see this input and there are two options, show touches, show pointer location. So I have turned on the pointer location. If I turn off the pointer location, now you will not see, you know, the coordinates at the top and you will not see that plus symbol also, which was coming up. So let me do that again. And now you will see, you know, uh, like it is able to detect my uh, finger. So it is showing you a plus symbol and it is also showing the coordinates. So whenever we have to swap the screen or do something on the coordinates of the screen, we have to make sure that the coordinates are shown on this. So that's that's how we can, you know, know that what are the coordinates which we have to give. Okay. So let me just move back. All right. Now let's go to our test case. So this is the test case which I want to write. So what I need to do, let me just show you on the screen. Okay, what I need to do, I need to go here, okay, and then I need to click this one, this one, okay. Once I click this one, I want to type something here, then I need to just scroll, and then I need to check it. So this is what we are, we have to do right now, okay. So let me go back. So you know, I need to get the element of this, sorry. So I need to get, get the element of this, but here we cannot just do a right click and inspect element for that. Uh, like we have done before, we have to use the UI automate viewer. You have to type this into a command prompt 
and then you can get the UI automate viewer okay so we just have to take the screenshot of that we can even save the screenshot for reference purposes for later on but we will not save it because we are not doing much right now we are just uh, you know uh, looking for three elements okay so you can save from here also you can keep it some folder if you don't want to you know always take a screenshot all right so this is the one which we want to click right uh, wait okay this is the one which you want to click and this is the screenshot of that so if i go here it gives me various options i can give resource id i can give accessibility id i can give package name so if the resource id is given it's always better i can use that id so i can just do a control s okay and then i can go to my here and i can give the command driver dot find element by dot id okay so i can give my id here and i want to click it fine so let's see once i click on that okay i want to type here so i have to take the screenshot of that again okay so i will take the screenshot of this second screen all right see guys right now i am telling you what are the commands which we are required to do okay but when you're working on a framework you have to work in a similar manner like i have told you in one of the video for the page object pattern here also you know if you're working in a company so you have to create two pages one is this home page and one is this form page so there are two pages created and there would be two test classes created so there will be total four classes you have to create in a page object pattern okay but right now we are just doing it very simple so that you can understand the basic concepts of all the commands but later on we can even convert them into page object pattern all right so this is our username and uh, this is a screenshot if i go here it has a resource id also so i will do control c and again so once i click on that i want to type so i will say driver dot find element by dot id okay then i will return id here and i want to do a send keys okay so let me type nourish here okay all right so what we need to do now so we know that you know when we are on this screen here okay i need to swipe the screen right i have to swipe it okay so for that what i can do i can just write a blank method here swipe swipe screen or swipe uh, okay swipe screen let it give swipe screen okay it's a blank method i have not created yet if i go to this it will tell me to create the method i will click on that and we will create this method later on then what i have to do once it gets swiped okay i need to check that for that i can again take a screenshot because the previous screenshot does not have the bottom of the screen so i'm taking a screenshot and now i have to just click on this okay wait this one and its resource id is this all right i again need to do a click on that so i will do driver dot find element see guys right now what we are doing we have already done that right since so this is not something new in the previous video we have already seen that well, how to find an element and how to you know click and do a send keys on that so this is not new so we are doing everything the swipe screen is a method which will implement which will be new to us okay so we need to work on this swipe screen method so let me just remove this all right so what all what all do we need when we work on the swipe screen if it's a horizontal uh, swipe or a vertical swipe what else we need to do so first of all we need to get the size of the screen okay and how do i get that so there's a class called dimension okay so it's a class called dimension maybe spelling is wrong okay so in this class i can just give something like dimension dim equal to driver dot manage dot window dot get size all right so it will give me the x and y coordinates of my screen 
okay so it will give me uh, sorry it will give me not the x and y coordinates it will give me the size of my x and y coordinates okay now if we want to get the height of the phone the height see this is the height let me show you okay so if i need to get the height from here to here what is the total height of this so for that i can do something like uh, int height equal to dim dot get height so i will get the height of my phone height of the screen of my phone and if i want width i will say dim dot get width all right so this is the you know height and width of the phone i have get now i have to put a logic here so that i can know how i need to swap okay so there are four things i need to give so one i need to give int start point of x okay so i'm not giving anything right now here i'm just leaving it blank and then i need to give the end point of x okay and then i need to give start point of y okay and then i need to give end point of y all right so we need to just put some logic here that what we need to put into the start and end okay and we can do that through the help of these coordinates which i have shown you okay see now try to understand this see uh okay see if i put my mouse pointer because at the middle of the screen see what is what is this width okay width let's say this is the width okay and that width is coming up around let's say 500 pixels okay so if i put my mouse pointer at the middle of the screen so that's mean that right now you know my x would be 250 because it is at the middle of the screen and this was i want because when i'm doing a vertical uh, vertical scroll i want that you know from the middle of the screen i should touch and i would do a word you know i can do a swapping okay so if i want to put my mouse pointer at the middle of the screen so i can put the formula like that so it would be wait here for the start x we have already given so it would be in start x equal to width divided by okay so that will be the middle of the screen now what about the end of the x so start x is okay okay we have given this what is the end end is also the same one i don't want you know here and i don't want to move there and there and anywhere else so my end will be the same for my x coordinate because for x i am not trying to change anything okay so i will give same thing here so you will understand when i will write the complete code so here i am writing and x also that okay now what about the y coordinate now what i want see this is my complete y okay if i try to swipe from here so it will not swipe because it is pressing the keys right so i don't want to swipe from here so this is the complete height if i say something like you know start width equal to uh, start y equal to height okay but what it will give me let's say it's giving 900 megapixel so it will start from here but i don't want 900 i want lesser than 900 it would be either 600 500 so this is the middle of the screen okay and this is like you know uh 500 400 megapixel okay so what i want that even if it's showing me complete screen i want to you know uh, move my mouse pointer from here not from here okay so for that i want from the 40 percent of the screen i want my start point okay and to the 20 percent of the screen i want my end point so i want my finger or i want my mouse to move from here to here from this place from this box to this box so this will be my start point of y this will be my end point of y okay so here i can give something like so i have already given the start x and end x for start y because i don't want the complete one so i just want it's 40 percent okay i am just taking a random number here all right so you can put this formula on in, onto your you know onto your knowledge or what you have seen here you know when you go to this 
maybe you can just see that what are the coordinates which you are giving at the top and according to that you take a decision okay so it giving the error it says me to i have to you know convert it into the int okay so here i have converted as a 40 percent and what is the end of y so end of y i just want you know like a 10 or 20 percent because i want from here it should top till here only it should not you know scroll till here so i want my pointer to be here and my you know purpose will be solved okay so the same thing i will put here okay equal to and here i can give something like 10 okay so that my y move from here to here see this is the crux okay if you understand this you would be able to do any kind of uh, scrolling onto your mobile okay now so apm has provided a class which is called touch action through which we can do different actions on our mobile so we will use the same class here okay so it would it would be touch action action equal to new so you remember that you know in selenium we do something like uh, what we say uh, the action class so it is very similar to that okay so some error add argument to touch action checked wait oh, i seem to add argument touch action action equal to new touch action and all right so it was just a warning i think okay now so this is the touch action which we have created and now we can create a sequence of the action like we do in our action class we have already learned that in selenium so it would be action dot see why i always give a reference for selenium because the apm is extending selenium so if you are learning apm i would request you to go through the selenium videos first and then learn the apm it will be a piece of cake for you if you have not gone through the selenium and directly you are jumping on the apm then it will be a bit difficult for you to connect the things because right now i am not explaining in detail what the touch action is because we have already talked about this when we were, when we were doing the action class in selenium so it is very similar to that okay so i need to create the you know uh, the uh, the sequence so it would be action dot press and here there is another class called point option where we need to give our x and y so point and option capital letter os capital letter and then there is a point given i have to give so what point i need to give i need to give my start of x and i need to give my y so that is with my y start of y okay same thing or with start of y What is that? Start Y. Okay. So here what we're we doing, we are doing a touch action class and we are calling the point option class and it's one of the method point where we have to give X and Y coordinate. After that, we can type move to. Okay. So this is the one which I need to use move to. And if you see here, I can move to web element, I can give int x and y, I can give point option. So I will use point option again. All right. Now the same thing which I have, you know, written above, I need to write here again. Okay. But this time, instead of, you know, start x and start y, I will give, you know, end x and end y. End x and end y. Okay, so once it is done, we will say dot release dot perform. All right, so we have made the sequence of action to be done. All right, so what we have done, uh, so we are clicking on that folder. So we are clicking on this folder. Okay, one second. Okay, so once our application get open, we are clicking on this folder. All right. After that, we are typing something here. Then we want to scroll and then we want to click on that. So 
we are clicking on the folder we are typing we are scrolling and then we are clicking on the checkbox and for swiping the we have taken the coordinates through dimension and from dimension we got the height and width once we get you height and width even if you do a scroll or vertical scrolling or horizontal scrolling you have to give the x and y so this is the crux you have to understand how to give the x and y of your screen and from where to where you have to scroll and according to that you can tweak that out okay and then we are using our touch action class with point option so that we can give x and y coordinate so that it can swipe all right now we will try to run this so let's run and let me just open this also for you let me go back okay so run test ng test let's open this <coughs> So let it get open. Okay, so it has opened. It has clicked. And under username, it will try to type. It has scroll. It has clicked. See? So we are able to successfully do this, right? So we were able to successfully, you know, type it, click it, click the folder. Then we have typed, then we have swipe, and then we have put a check mark on the checkbox. Okay, very simple. All right. So I have not explained you how to do a setup because we have already talked about this twice, thrice in, a, in the previous videos. So you can just look into the first video where I have talked about this in detail. But here we have just seen this three line of code. I need to do this. Okay. These three line of code and this swipe. So once you understand about these, you know, how to give a coordinates and you how to use a touch action class, anything related to your uh, mobile, whether it is touch, you have to scroll vertical, you have to scroll horizontal, you can do that. Okay. You can create uh, your by your own. All right. So right now I have shown you vertical, but if in some of the application you can scroll horizontal also, you can do that by using the same. Alright, so I hope this video was beneficial for you. If you like the video, please hit on the like button. Thank you.